In this Lightworks tutorial I will show you how to overlay a portrait video clip over a stretched and blurred copy of your original portrait video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Lightworks. A couple of links are included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought this clip into Lightworks and if you've edited your clip you'll need to drag it by um, doing your time in time out settings. You'll need to drag your clip from the viewer. And another thing you'll need to do is just right click on v track V1 and then under sequence commands next to tracks left click on add track this will give you a second track to put your another video clip in so okay well once you've done that so you've your clips in track v2 and you've got v1 spare come to the top of the screen and left click on vfx so to the left of settings there's a little plus sign left click on this and then make sure you um, select 2D DVE by left clicking on it and then left click add effect ok making sure in the scale box you adjust the X axis or so X being left to right, Y being up and down, so you need to make sure you drag the X over so you fill the screen. And that's looking pretty good. And once you've done that, go back up to the plus sign, left click on it, and then where it, there's a button that says DVE, left click on this, left click on stylize, and again make sure you select blur by left clicking on it if it's not already highlighted and then left click apply effect and you'll get a slightly blurred sort of background and in the blur box you've got an amount so I'm going to just drag this up to a hundred percent you can set it at what you want okay and the next thing you need to do is go back into edit at the top of the screen here left clicking on the edit button and again if you've edited your clip in this viewer here make sure you drag it from the viewer into your timeline now because you've got two lots of audio what I would do is just right click on the clip and then where it says timeline commands auto track sync left click so you remove the tick so there's no tick showing next to auto track sync and what this means now is you can left click on your audio and remove it without removing the video clip once you've done that drag the clip so it snaps to the beginning again and again go back up to VFX and although you're showing this these settings here they are for the bottom one so what you need to do is go back up to the top and left click on the plus sign and then go back into DVE by left clicking on stylize select 2D DVE and then left click apply effect left click on the little arrow next to crop and you can crop your clip and this is a good way of cropping a clip um, from top to bottom as well I'm gonna just do the so I'm gonna do from left I just drag this in and just get it reasonably close and then roll your middle mouse over your percentage okay and then I'll do the right And that's all there is to it.
and you're good to go. Now all you need to do is right click on your timeline and export your video. I won't bother doing that because like I said at the beginning I've assumed you've got some understanding of um, editing in Lightworks. So as I always say at the end, hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.